What the hell? video uh ever on youtube um we are the world 2010 for haiti now we are the world um the original one from 1980s was written by michael jackson and produced by michael jackson and i really need to put off that follow my face thing because that's really stupid so, now, I remember watching that, the 1980s one, um, when I was younger, back in the 90s, when uh, Africa uh, had that whole spiel. Michael Jackson was there. They had some of the greatest singers ever. Uh, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, um, oh, God, who else? Uh, Stevie Wonder. Um, Ray Charles, all the greats. And to open up, um, the first performer on um, Wheel of the World, uh, 19, the 1980s one, was, um, oh God. Let me look him up real quick. Oh, I forget his name. Son of a bitch. I'm sorry about this, guys. Lionel Richie, I think that I think that was his. Yeah, Lionel Richie, that was the guy. And who do they have opening up for We Are the World 2010? Justin Bieber. Are you kidding me? That that chipmunk reject. What? And it was auto tune. The entire seventy five percent of the entire performances on that on on uh, on display were auto-tuned and they had a rap uh, a rap interval in between a, a rap breakdown are you kidding me that's such a disgrace we are the world uh, break it down we are the children yeah yeah what the fuck are you kidding me hold on one second <sighs> Oh, who texted me? Burton Ernie. Oh, stop promoting your hardcore band. That's nice. You like Kesha? I don't. She's a reject. But honestly, I mean. This is going to be a rant. I, I'm sorry. Um, I found nothing good about about the new version. And that has more views than the original, which is really, really sad. Um, oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Um, God, where to begin? So, yeah, Justin Bieber opens up, and, of course, he's auto-tuned. That chipmunk reject that he is. I'm sorry, I'm sure he's a nice kid and all, but this is the way music is going. If you're gonna sell some, sell a product, a, a gimmick to, to the to to the entire world, at least have some forethought in it and and put a little elbow grease into it, you know. Put a little workmanship into it. Not just say, oh, auto-tune, boom. And then they they did something cool. I mean, they they put in uh, Michael Jackson um, from the 1980s version for his piece with, that he sang. But it was just horrible, guys. Horrible. Oh, my God. Then, then they had 
um, Lil Wayne with his audio, uh, audio tuning, which was pure crap. And then to end the, and then they had Barbra Streisand, who sounded cr like crap. The only one that sounded kind of good, Tony Bennett, but he wasn't that good anyway. Um, he wasn't great. He 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 was um, bearable. And then they had um, oh, who's that opera singer? Um, Oh, God, who was that opera singer? The new guy, the new guy. Um, his name escapes me. Shit. Hold on. Let me type it in. And my stepbrother, or not my stepbrother, Vash Peacemaker and his brother are, are uh, up there. Um, let me see here. Ah, let me go to YouTube real quick. God bless YouTube. Here we go, here we go. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, they had Jessica Simpson in it too. There comes a time. Fuck you, Justin. Who the fuck is this bitch? There we go. That's the guy. We can't go on. Pretend you pay by day. Okay. That someone somehow will soon make a change. Here's Tony Bennett. Fucking thing. Mary J. Blige, she was okay. At least they didn't change that. Janet. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. I'm sorry, she needs to give it up. She really needs to stop. Look at that schnoz of hers. Damn. Oh, God. Miley Cyrus. Ew. Ew. Yeah. Fast forward, fast forward. Shut up, Jamie Fox. Who the fuck is that? We are the children. Who the hell is that? Is that pink? That's pink. She was cool. I think that's the original conductor from the original. Yeah. Say what you want about Jackson, but he kicks ass. Oh, sure. Celine Dion, she was alright. They basically substituted the originals for this. Who the fuck is that? There's the original, I think. Who the fuck is that? Propaganda, propaganda. Is that Adam Lambert? I don't know.
Oh god. Horrible. Horrible. Evil. What's up, evil? Evil. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Is that Jeff Bridges? It's Jeff Bridges. Holy shit. I didn't know Jeff Bridges could sing. That's the dude from Tron. Oh my god. It's Jeff fucking Bridges. Holy shit. Who the fuck is that? More auto tune. Hell. Okay, so. That's basically it. Kanye West, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Fuck Kanye West. He messed up Taylor Swift. Okay, I'm pausing this shit. This is bullshit. Oh my freaking god, dude. So yeah, that was basically it. That that was pure crap. What the? Uh, yeah. Ian's scared now. Ian really scared. Why the fuck was Jeff Bridges there? I didn't know he could sing. Was he a singer? Don't know, don't know. But yeah, Justin Bieber. I'm going on a rant about Justin Bieber now. I don't hate him. I hate him to a certain degree. Um, basically because he got popular on YouTube and he's basically a, a media attention getter for his cuteness. They're, they're, he can't sing. I've heard him sing live, guys. He cannot sing worth a shit. Um, you know, he, he's not even a drop in the puddle in the music industry. He's popular now, but down the road, he's nothing. He hasn't even hit puberty yet. Yeah, hasn't even hit puberty yet. Um, so. Oh, my God. It's because the music industry nowadays, this is why I quit my band. Um. It's just a popularity contest right now. Nobody uh, thinks about um, the voice anymore, the art of music. Um, everything is just relied on technology, and that just proved it right there uh, with all the auto-tuning. You know, there were no real voices, honestly, like back in the eight, like it was back in the 80s. And they're expecting us to give to Haiti, which is nice, but here's my thing. Where the hell did all the money go? You gave all that money. Where the hell did it go? I'll tell you where it went. The government of Haiti took it all. So you just basically pissed all your money away. I didn't give because the only charity I would ever give to and will ever give to is St. Jude's Children's Hospital. At least I know my money is being well spent there. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sucks to be you if you uh, donated money to Haiti. Um, donating's fine and everything like that. Helping out is fine. I'm good with that. But 
research uh, before you give your mo your hard-earned money away because this economy wasn't like it was back in the 80s. Uh, stars were, were greedy and hungry for, for power back in the day. Um, music was good, actually. Today, uh, this this was crap. This was uh, um, promotional material, um, not just for, for the awareness of Haiti, obviously, but uh, it's just for the stars to get the names out. Um, you know, they, they probably got paid tons of money for this, but yeah, I'm done with music. <laughs> so, yeah. That's my team. Okay, on to a Kingdom Hearts update. Um, I gave the script to uh, James, um, who's going to be the villain in the Kingdom Hearts movie, and who will be playing Axel in um, Kingdom Hearts 358 Days. Um, I'm basically recycling characters, so a lot of the characters you'll see in uh, Kingdom Hearts The Lost 2, which is the first movie that will be coming out, um, the actors who will play those characters, they'll be playing different characters in 358 days. So uh, basically just go with it, I guess. That's the best way to put it. Um, yeah, so he's down for it. Um, he's going to see um, what he can do about the wig for Axel. Um, I think Janessa has the wig, a really good wig. I think it was like an $80 wig that she spent money on. So we're going to see if we can borrow that. Um, as for sound and voices, um, I'm just going to be using um, my little camcorder. It's going to be easier that way. But we're going to be going into the studio, a, a professional studio, to record uh, the vocals and all the lines. And then we'll just act it out um, on film and I'll edit it and stuff because I want to get the best sound po uh, quality possible. The best sound possible, I'm sorry. So for eight hours, it's going to be about $500 um, to, to do the sound recording. And then so probably about $1,000 for when everything is $1,000 to $1,500 um, when everything is said and done. So... Yeah, that's about it. I'm really excited. Um, because you know, the movie's coming out. That's basically it. We're finally going to get started next year. Um, probably a... I'm going to shoot for a 2011 release, but if not, it'll be 2012 before we all die. Uh, probably in the summer of 2012 is when the film will come out. And then if everything goes as planned... Um, 358 days will be at the end of 2012, 2013 maybe, because I want to shoot these films at the same time. Do one week, uh, The Lost Two, and then the next week, uh, 358 days. So, yeah, hopefully it will be good, hopefully, you know. So, yeah, giggity giggity. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go finish writing my book. Or maybe play video. I'll probably play video games. I'm in a video game playing mood. Playing Borderlands. Or Halo. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Have a good night. And, uh, oh, order some new vinyls. Um, I ordered the Exorcist. Um, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Uh, the Exorcist um, soundtrack on vinyl. It was a test print. So that's really cool. And I ordered the Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Something's burning. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation um, uh, soundtrack on vinyl record. So I got that. I'm looking for part one. Can't find part one, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. And um, I just want to wish everybody a happy new year. Um, I think, yeah, happy new year. 2011 is here. So good things are going to happen, hopefully. Take care, and I will talk to you guys later. All right, bye-bye.